Welcome back to my channel guys. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. But before we begin, let's play the low budget intro which I have editor is it playing. Come on, I paid you for this. Alright guys, before we begin anything, I would like to wish every one of you a happy Diwali. It's 6th of November here. By the time my video gets uploaded, probably it would be end of Diwali then. <laughs> um, hope hope not. If, if the editor does his job, then yeah, I can upload it before that. Um, so let's begin. Uh, I had traditional clothes. I was going to wear them, but obviously they don't fit me anymore. So yeah, just decided to rock with these uh, black top and then grey jeans and today's vlog will be about me travelling to Nottingham. I was just bored at home, I was like yeah, might as well do something productive out of it. Uh, I've got a week off from job, so yeah, let's see you there. So Mr. Saeed is dropping me to the train station. A few moments later See you looking at places where I can visit quickly because I'm not going to be here for a long time um, I'm just going to be here for like five hours and so so yeah I've looked up a place called Nottingham Castle so that's where I'm headed now This is what Nottingham train station looks from outside. Really nice. So 
this road going up there will take me to Nottingham Castle. I've just walked like 10 steps up here and I can already see the castle. There's like an old pub, the oldest in England, it says. Looks good. Here they go, India got bandstand. The doors. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, this rock right here has been stood here for more than 400,000 years and it's made of a gritty, pebbly rock called Nottingham Castle Sandstone Formation. Wow, all the information is right here. Nothing from Wikipedia. <laughs> and also you can see Nottingham has more caves than any other city in Britain. Wow. And all of them were man-made. Just like the... Just like in the times of Shivaji Maharaj. No giveaways for guessing who this man is right here. If you know who this is, just comment below and let me know who do you think this guy is. Just like the way we have Tanaji Malsure and all the greats outside our forts in Maharashtra, this is Robin Hood. <laughs> The great, great legend Robin Hood. I don't know if he's real or not. Probably he was a real man, but there were also some stories about him. Which I'm sure you all know about. That's it. Right here. Outside the Nottingham Castle. Um, to be honest, you wouldn't find such a pretty, lovely day in England. That too, in the winter season. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I can't believe it. I can't believe my luck, mate. The day I decided to visit the Nottingham Castle, it has been closed until 2020, that's why. Whenever you plan to visit something, always, always research about it if you're gonna go and visit that place. Not like me. So now because the castle is closed, I've decided to go to Old Market Square. So I'm gonna go there now.
just walked down the way from Old Market Square and I'm heading towards City of Caves to see how it goes there. So you can see Nottingham Caves that way. Let's go. So I have to press any of the button if I want to know the history behind it. This is the entrance to the cave. Um, yeah, it's, it works like a telephone. So basically, I just press the number on this and then I can just listen to it. This is very spooky, you know. Whoa. So it says number one and play. And the authorities quickly began to work adapting caves. Sandstone was a good shock absorber and would have been silly not to put the caves to good use. Some caves were whitewashed and entrances were protected by reinforced walls. In the case of this cave, the entrance would have led straight out onto the street and was located at the top of the brick stairs that you came down at the beginning of the tour. Several small caves were linked together, which is why that tunnel now cuts through the old wells in the cesspit area that you went by earlier. Space that we have today. On many levels, tanning was a vile trade and dangerous to have. Don't take my word for it. You were our resident. You were initially used as one caves to make pottery. By the 16th century, these caves became associated mainly with the leather trade and with tanning. Over on the wall, you can see various animals. Imagine just how horrible that job would have been to get hold of a piece of skin fresh from an animal carcass and turn it into a piece of leather. Outside the city of caves now, I've just finished my trip in the little cave which we which they had. Really from me guys, I'm um, here in this beautiful, magical city of Nottingham. I really enjoyed my day out from all the crap going in my life. Um, really, really a good place to visit just for a day or two. Uh, I wish I could stay here for a day or probably a night here and then explore some more things in Nottingham but obviously I have to go back I've already booked my ticket so yeah and one more thing have a great 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 Diwali and I'll see you around in the next vlog waiting here for my train it's half four I've already walked about 700 and 7500 steps which is probably my cardio for the day um, but honestly a great 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 day uh, I would say Try traveling at least once in your life, alone, anywhere. It's like a therapy. It'll work on you. If you if you go place alone, on your own, just switch off your data. Just switch off all your data. Put your phone on airplane mode 
that's what I did today. Just took snaps on my phone and that's it. Just just put everything on airplane mode and try traveling once. You'll love it. You'll forget everything and just get rid of all the crap in your life. Oh mate, it really feels like you're trekking inside a city. It's like everything here is developed. You got pubs and everything on the side, yeah? But you're actually climbing up a hill right here. Oh, 